Full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. There is a failure of the driver. Failure of the gate drivers on the TV panel is almost always the main cause of horizontal lines. One horizontal line on a TV screen represents perhaps a defective row driver or a damaged row electrode. If the panel itself is made to employ a double-ended row drive, it may only stretch halfway across. A dead driver chip is most likely to blame for a huge cluster of horizontal lines that are consistently on or off. For example, in this case, you will notice a rectangular area over the width of the TV screen. This is typically a ribbon cable that connects the main video board to the LCD that, for whatever reason, has dislodged some of its contact points. How to remedy this? As they are a component of the panel, replacing them is difficult because they typically require special equipment. You may always examine the tiny ribbon wires connecting the LCD panel to the driver board, which is a component of the panel. The panel is joined to the flat ribbon cables. Push down on a ribbon cable associated with the line's location. If that line is altered or vanishes, the bond has failed. The real gate driver for that location has failed if the line remains unchanged. This is a panel problem rather than a board failure. The LCD is defective. If all channels have identical lines, the LCD is probably defective. This is because the TCON board happens to be the one that controls the LCD panel. It's likely to result in horizontal lines on your TV screen if this becomes defective. This is because it is responsible for converting the video signal received by the TV into a form that the display panel can understand and display. This is also the case if the horizontal lines are permanently there and aren't flickering up and down your TV screen. To fix this, it would likely be best to get a local repair shop to do it for you unless your TV is still in warranty. Accumulation of dust particles obstructing the picture. Suppose the issue you have when you turn your TV on is that after a few minutes, the horizontal lines on your screen jump around before disappearing. Then they reappear again after a few minutes. In that case, if you have checked the cables and the ribbons are firmly in place, then this can be caused by dust that has accumulated and is now obstructing the picture. No one likes dust, so it only makes sense that your TV is also not a fan of it. How to remedy this? Simply disconnect your TV, flip it over, and clean the dust. This can be done using a dry cloth to gently wipe the dust away, or compressed air can be sprayed onto the dust particles causing the problem. Some may say you should give your TV a few hard smacks in the back as a possible solution to dislodge the dust. Simply give the TV a couple light taps on the back to see if that resolves the problem. If it works or you see the lines disappear while you're doing it but reappear as soon as you stop, it might be a loose connection. The TV has not been updated recently. Your smart TV occasionally needs updating to the newest and latest versions, just like any other electrical device. Horizontal lines are frequently one of the display issues brought on by inadequate graphics drivers. How to remedy this? You'll want to unplug the TV's power cord and then plug it back in. This is a simple solution that could very well get rid of the horizontal lines. However, ensure you wait a full 60 seconds after unplugging the cord. Don't cheat, as this will get you nowhere. Try a soft reset. A soft reset is where you turn off the TV and unplug it from the wall outlet. You then usually have to wait for 60 seconds, then you can put the plug back in and turn the TV on again. Performing a soft reset clears a device's internal memory of running programs, which often clears up any technical glitches. Try a hard reset. A hard reset involves completely resetting the TV to its factory defaults. Most TV models have specific instructions. If your TV is still not working properly, try taking a look at the comments. I will also update the blog post, linked in the description, with any new fixes that appear.